Hello guys, today in Salon Stats channel I talk about grid index of Sri Lanka. Do you ask what's special about that? I'm sure after watching this video you haven't any problem with that. The grid index is designed to rank how efficiently and effectively the leadership of the country and the preparedness of its health system were in tackling the COVID-19 pandemic. The results are published in a paper titled Grid Index, tracking the global leadership response in the COVID-19 crisis by the Institute of Certified Management Accountants in Australia. New Zealand and its leader Jacinta Ardern have been ranked first in the grid index. The USA, led by President Donald Trump in its COVID-19 responses fares abysmally in the rankings. Sri Lanka and its President Gotabaya Rajapaksa have been ranked ninth in the Global Response to Infectious Diseases Grid Index. Sri Lanka is an island country in South Asia, located in the Indian Ocean. As the origin of the novel coronavirus in Wuhan was announced, Sri Lankan authorities started to take vigilance in stopping the potential danger. The military forces and the National Intelligence Service were put on high alert. The government created specialized aviation and border control expert teams to track the movement of all inbound tourists and with a potential threat. Sri Lanka was one of the first countries to send rescue missions to Wuhan to evacuate 33 Sri Lankan families. The families were brought down via an exclusive carrier and quarantined in a unique quarantine military facility. All potential contacts were observed continuously under quarantine. Those in the military facility were given full access to information, and there was no government control of information, hence increasing its reliability. This explains why although Sri Lanka is placed at a lowly 93rd in the KPI ranks, it is ranked 10th on the grid from index alongside countries such as Hong Kong and Taiwan. The reason Sri Lanka responded so well is because Sri Lanka has a public health system which is free for all citizens. Going hand in hand, Sri Lanka has had a free education system until graduate school for the last 60 years, thanks to which it has trained thousands of well-qualified healthcare professionals and paramedical workforce for many decades through well-regulated and state-of-the-art medical faculties covering all the regions of the country, all free of charge. The doctors and paramedical staff receive postgraduate training and continuous medical education throughout their career. The island nation also has a robust century-old community health program. Health statistics such as maternal and child mortality rates are the lowest in the region. In fact, comparable to the Western world. The life expectancy is highest in the region. The nation is 100% vaccination covered, and all treatments under the extended program of immunization are administered free of charge. After government extends curfew so many young inventors came forward and show their talent and help to stop spread coronavirus. They make intensive care units beds first time in Sri Lanka. And last week one of young inventor made first their own language Sinhala speaking medical robot to help for this pandemic. The fact, Sri Lanka is the most hospitable country in the world. It's come from Buddhism based culture. So you can understand now why so special these facts. All countries should follow Sri Lanka to protect like these pandemic situation. Thank you watching this video. Subscribe Salom Stats channel for more videos.